screen and radio, Drafty 158 and three quarters. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Say, uh, we're, we're going to show you some uh, sl 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 sensational movies. And they're just chock full of uh, mini 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 uh, military secrets. So if there's any uh, th fifth columnists in the audience, uh, will they uh, b b b uh, please leave the th theater right now? Uh, th uh, thank you. <laughs> America's defense effort. As the tenseness of the world situation mounts by the hour, more and more important in the defense plan looms our vital industries. Fast furnaces at white heat convert the iron ore into defense implements. Here we see the molten metal automatically conveyed and about to be poured. This is the stuff from which tanks are made. In modern blitz warfare, Air power is often the deciding factor, and the need for all types of planes has every American aircraft factory humming. <laughs> because of their proven effectiveness, various types of British RAF planes are studied and improved upon. In front of us is one of the famous English Spitfires. <laughs> With the machinery and materials approaching peak output, the need for men to man these machines grows urgent. Then came the draft. X-Train, X-Train, read all about the draft bill. Citizen Sugarcane says, our open door policy is responsible for the draft. All over the country, men of draft age scan their draft board lists for their number and discuss their chances of being called up. Tell you we ain't got nothing to worry about. We both got high numbers. Your number's even higher than mine. And besides, you're much too short. Yeah, they'd never take a little rut like you. You and your education. Draftees are housed in well-planned modern army camps. Because of the outdoor life and regular hours, the boys develop hearty appetites and are fed plenty of good, wholesome food. Because, as the great General Napoleon once said, an army travels on its stomach. The army is rapidly being equipped with all types of armament, from the huge siege guns down to the machine gun nest. <laughs> Even in a modern mechanized army, the horse still has a place. Here are some army horses raised in South America. La conga! <laughs> Our new anti-tank gun is the answer to any possible tank attack. Here is one about to blast a robot tank. Here it comes. Watch the tremendous hitting power of this super gun. The tank is almost in the direct line of fire. Get ready. Aim, fire, 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 fire! What's the matter? Why don't they shoot? What are those gunners doing? <laughs> Mine's longer than yours. Here we see the latest long-range rapid-fire coast defense gun in action, shooting 10 million shells a second. Watch. <laughs> government policy, new machines are constantly being developed. Here is the latest weapon, a land destroyer, 100 times faster and more effective than a tank. Look at that thing go, hurtling through space at five miles a minute. Hey, stop and let us see that machine. Hello again, folks. 
Hold on to your bridge work, boss. Here we go again. Thanks. The president orders all out test of defense strength. The mighty armed forces of the nation respond to the president's command. Fortresses, pursuit ships, long-range bombers. And on the sea, our mighty Navy tries out its powerful guns. On land, our tank corps drives forward to the scene of action. Are we safe from air attack? Supposing one day a fleet of enemy bombers suddenly appeared over the horizon. Where are our defenses? Why isn't something being done?